oceans apart day after day and I slowly go insane I hear your voice on the line but it doesn't stop the pain if I see you station wagon with a tent, a Coleman and sleeping bags, some fishing poles, a cooler of Cokes, three days before we had to be back. When you're seven, you're in seventh heaven, when you're going camping in the wild outdoors. As we turned off on that old dirt road, he looked at me and swore, Dad. This could be the best day of my life I've been dreaming day and night about the fun we'll have Just me and you doing what I've always wanted to I'm the luckiest boy alive This is the best day of my life Fifteenth birthday rolled around Classic cars were his thing When I pulled in the drive with that old vet I thought that boy would go insane When you're in your teens Your dreams revolve around four spinning wheels We worked nights on end Till it was new again And as he sat behind the wheel He said, Dad this could be the best day of my life I've been dreaming day and night about the fun we've had Just me and you doing what I've always wanted to I'm the luckiest boy alive This is the best day of my life Of the church with our tuxes on Looking at him I say I can't believe son that you're grown He said dad This could be the best day of my life I've been dreaming day and night Of being like you Now it's me and her watching you and mom i've learned i'm the luckiest man alive this is the best day of my life i'm the luckiest man alive this is the best day of my life Good night, Mr. Moon Lay down your sleepy head Good night, Mr. Moon It's time to go to bed The day is getting lazy And the evening coming in We'll listen to the songs you sing wherever 
stars begin and play those sad love songs somewhere through the blues listen to the words you sing while we soft step to you too so good night Mr. Moon it's time to go to bed good night Mr. Moon lay down your sleepy head hey grandpa oh, hey papa say pappy Papi. Say Papio. Papio. Say Papi Man. Papi Me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh my God. Happy birthday to you. Oh my God. Happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Happy 60th birthday, Papio. Um, Mom wanted us to share something, some memory or something, but honestly, I don't really have a specific memory that comes to mind just because anything we've ever done, you've always been there. You've always been involved with it anyways. You've always been very active and just anytime we've done anything you've always been there and so that's been the best part and um I was trying to think of something to share and I thought back to any cool experiences or crazy things that we've done or um what to say really and all I could really think of is I've only seen Papio cry a few times and it was when Taylor was set apart on a mission and when I was. And the other time I could remember is at the end of Walter Mitty, the movie. It's the only other time I've seen him cry. Um, but thanks, Dad. We love you. Happy 60th birthday. I love you, Grandpa. What's your favorite game to play? Mapples. What else do you like about Grandpa? Do you like when he gets you in the scissor? Yes. <laughs> do you like when you go play in the yard with Grandpa? Woo! Grandpa! Junie, can you blow kisses? Blow <laughs> kisses like this. Okay, say love you, Grandpa. Say, love. Happy, say happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, Grandpa. I love you. Happy birthday, Pappy Man. Uh, I remember when Tate and I first started dating and got married and all that, and he started telling me these stories of this legendary guy named Eric Olaf and how he was the only one on the canoeing trip to paddle the entire 50 miles um, without, you know, complaining or stopping and walking even when you had bruises along the whole bottom of your feet and ripping a tree out of the ground so that the whole neighborhood didn't burn down. And I got to know you more and more and I realized that all those stories were true and that you are a legendary hero. <laughs> um, you have such a good attitude about things even when things are hard and when things are challenging you still seem to make jokes like when you burnt your face so bad in the snow and all you said was well, did you bring any aloe <laughs> um i just really appreciate uh your whole attitude towards life and I just love how much the girls love you and i love that you would drop anything to come help any one of your family members and even members of your ward family. Uh, you're a great example to us. You're a hero and you're amazing. Thank you so much for everything, all your help thus far and all your help that I know that you're gonna 
give to us. <laughs> so thank you for being an example to Tate growing up. I know that's one reason why he is who he is. And thank you for being an example to me and uh, especially to our girls and for our future kids to come. Thank you and happy birthday. Happy birthday, dad. You're already 60, so that's kind of crazy. But I wanted to say that I love you. I'm grateful for you. Um, thanks for always being there for me, for being my best friend. And it's fun that we get to go do so much fun stuff together. And you're always here for us. So I love you and hope you have a great birthday. All right, Gordon, how old is grandpa gonna be on his birthday? Grandpa, dad. Four. Grandpa, dad is old. He's old? So does he drive fast? Um, <laughs> um, he drives fast. He drives fast. Oh, nice. <laughs> Can you say happy birthday to grandpa, dad? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandpa Dad. And happy birthday to you, Grandpa Dad. Happy birthday, Dad. I hope you have a good day. I just wanted to say thanks for being such a great dad and for all that you did for me. Um, I remember just growing up that you were always such a good support and you never made us feel like we were um, inconveniencing you or making you do stuff that you didn't want to do when I'm sure you did a lot of stuff for us. Um, so I appreciate that. As I get older, I find myself doing things and saying things and sounding like you. And um, I honestly think that's pretty cool because if I turn out to be like you, I think I'd, that'd be pretty awesome. Um, it'd be a pretty good life. So thank you for the example you've been to me. I love you and I hope you have a good day. Happy birthday. I've been thinking a lot about what I would say in this video when we decided to put one together for your birthday. And I came up with my top five reasons that I love you. And so, um, number one is I love that you love our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ, and that is evidenced by how you live your life and your willingness to serve and strive to do the right things. And I know that, um, especially since you've been the bishop, that you've been asked to do things that are hard for you, and your willingness to try and do what the Savior would have done is a great example to me and I appreciate that. And number two is I love how much you love and cherish our family. And it's so fun to see you get excited when everybody's coming over and to watch you play with the grandkids and support our kids and their spouses and all the things that they are doing. And I am so grateful for that. And number three, I appreciate all of your hard work and your never quit attitude and just the attitude that you approach things with, that you just get busy and get things done and you're positive and you work hard and I appreciate that about you. I also appreciate how unselfish and generous you are and all the times that I've seen you help and give and it's just an inspiration to me. And I mostly love that you love me. And I know that maybe sometimes during our time together on this earth, that's been a little bit hard um, for you. And, but for me, I my life would not be where I am today if we hadn't met and gotten married. And it, I consider it the greatest blessing of my life to have you as my husband and have our family that we cherish so much. And I love you and I hope you've had a great day. Here he goes, superhero.